Hey guys, today we have a review of a tablet, the tablet from ASOS company. This tablet or laptop is around eight years old and this is ASUS Transformer Book T100. So it's quite old device, but let's see how it works after eight years of work with Windows 10 and you can buy it right now for 70 bucks so basically you can buy the laptop and tablet for 70 bucks so let's see so i see i have a cable here the cable is not original it was broken after three four years so ordered cable from uh, aliexpress and it's double side cable so you can install it from any side so it's actually quite convenient and also you it's very convenient to use it with tablet because uh, it's uh, it's different size than uh, the stock one also i change the charger so the charger from asus uh, dead after four years around so i bought this 20 uh, watt uh, charging so it should work in this one it works very perfectly so what else i have here from accessories so i have uh, from micro USB to USB. Uh, if uh, you're using your uh, keyboard and USB port is occupied, so you can use the second one using this transmitter. Also, you have headphones. Yeah, headphones I will not show you. Also, I have mouse uh, from Xiaomi. So it's almost the same size at, as uh, our laptop. So basically, I have a review on my channel about this mouse. So it's quite nice one. It's around 17 bucks. Using uh, you can use it by Bluetooth or uh, using the Wi-Fi transmitter. So let's put everything back to to, uh, to the case. And yeah, let's check it out. So the case. That's how the tablet looks like. Basically, case is quite old, but now it's almost. Uh, not possible to find a new case like this it's really hard I checked Amazon I checked Aliexpress but it doesn't exist so basically uh, I forced to use this one but still it's a good case it's a smart cover so it's blocked when you close it and it's quite convenient and handy to use so from my back it looks uh, not that bad if you just clean it a bit and then put some some black paint on it so it will look much much better or you can just cut front part if you want and then just keep the back part it's up to you but still the case is very convenient it's magnet case so basically uh, you can I, I will use it for now so let's put it out from a case and now you can see the laptop or tablet itself so let's go one by one so here we have my uh, micro SD, micro SD, uh, micro HDMI 3.5 millimeters from the down you have keyboard uh, connector and special one from Asus uh, you can put only from one side actually yeah just check it out uh, so what else what else so power on power off button you have uh, also this one sleep button and you have volume button so the screen I changed twice, not the screen itself, but the touch screen. So they are separate. It's quite easy to replace them. Uh, you also have uh, some gap between the screen and touch screen, but still it's quite fine. Also, this uh, touch screen is cost around 10 bucks only. You can buy it on AliExpress, so it's quite good offer and you can change it really fast. Also, you have a uh, camera here and from back no camera, just plastic. But it's good that it's plastic because Wi-Fi works not bad. And I also have video of changing the screen uh, on this tablet. You can find it below, but uh, you can search on my channel and find it. Uh, from front, you have front camera and indicator. From the back, nothing, just ASOS signature here. So what else? We have this uh, keyboard. Yeah, that's a very big advantage. You have keyboard with touchpad from Win Windows 8 was pre-installed here. So it's quite light. There were some version with 500 uh, gigabytes. Also, it was touchpad here. And it's not that bad. Yeah, for this size, it's 
10.1 inch and the keyboard is good, still working fine after 8 years even. So also this crunch stain works not bad, so basically that's how to connect it and then you can just close it as a regular laptop. Basically it's like mini laptop that you can handle with you all the time, so that's how it looks like from side. And basically let's turn it on right now and see, so characteristics, uh, it's Intel Atom uh, processor, 4 cores, it's quite old, 2013, but still working fine. Also have here uh, 2 gigabytes of uh, RAM, it's not that good, but also you have Intel uh, graphic card, also have battery around 7000 mAh, still working fine. And Windows 10 is pre-installed. Windows 10 is not possible to install because it's not supported by uh, hardware here. So let me unblock it first. I will enter my password. And now you see it's unblocked. So that's how it looks like. So I will uh, disconnect the keyboard. You can use just touch screen. So it's really light. It's around 500 gram without keyboard and works fine. So even in 2022, it still works really good. So you can change the brightness here and it's still enough. You have Bluetooth, you have Wi-Fi. I connect my mouse by Bluetooth. So it's also quite convenient. You don't need to uh, waste your USB. So basically we have the mouse here and you can use it uh, with a mouse like a regular laptop. It's not that fast, but still working fine for 2022. Yeah, it works. It works 64 gigabytes of built-in memory and you can insert with micro SD and still works fine. So let's open something, yeah, some WinRAR archiv. So it takes three, four seconds, but still quite fast. So you can watch movies, you can watch YouTube, you can, can copy file, install any software as on your laptops, regular software, no need special files. Okay, let's just open uh, Google Chrome and... Okay, it's a bit slow. Yeah, okay, you see it takes some time to load. Let's connect the keyboard and try to enter YouTube. Okay, connecting. Yeah, it's quite hard to connect this way, but still fine, yeah. Okay, so YouTube. See, it's loading, not that fast, not that slow, but quite okay. Uh, Wi-Fi uh, works here not that well, actually. Uh, my laptop, uh, show me, is around 130, 150 megabits per second. At the same place, uh, this uh, SOS T100 is around 20, uh, let's see, let's test it out, it's around 20. I've tried to change the drivers, I've tried to adjust the settings, but still it's 20, 25 maximum, so still not that fast. As you see right now, 17, so it's one minus. The second minus is uh, brightness. Uh, sometimes it's not really enough, so maybe you will not see it on screen, but uh, when you put 100, it's still sometimes not enough, especially when it's a uh, light day and you need to set maximum brightness. But still the battery is quite good and the resolution is just HD, not full HD, so basically uh, it works better with this resolution. Works slow, but still you can use it and for, for watching movies, uh, the tablet is not bad for using Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Um, it works well, so you can buy it. You can just text out, you can uh, calculate the formulas in Excel for games. Of course, it, it will not work that well, but still can install some games like Counter-Strike, put the lowest uh, graphics, but still as a compact laptop uh, to watch movies, to listen music, just to use it as a tablet and fastly connect it to work. So it works really, really good. Just open Word and then choose to YouTube and just open some software that only can be installed on a Windows laptop. It's also quite convenient and quite good. As a portable laptop, I really recommend to use it.
it's really good one for home as a tablet watching movies watching yeah uh, browsing uh, for working also suitable but still the screen is small you can of course connect some bigger screen using micro hdmi but still you have camera here so sound is not that good you have two speakers from backward it's not really visible but the quality is so 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 it goes back this is the first one not the front but still you can connect 3.5 millimeter and still work uh, really good so basically i really recommend to buy this laptop the quality is quite good and it's still very good in 2022 thank you for watching and see you next time